We are now entering the second phase of our expedition with a larger crew. We are organizing our field gear, which will be flown by helicopter and giant nets. In addition to the gear, we have to transport all of the food we will need to be self-sustaining for a period of two weeks in the mountains. In this view of our camp, you can probably see an electrical fence around it to protect us against encounters with grizzlies and black bears. We spend a good part of our time exploring on foot around the campsite. This involves walking on rocky slopes and taking pictures of rocks and making notes. The first fossils were found on loose slabs along tailless slopes, and we soon discovered the source of the fossils to be this particular outcrop where my colleague is standing. We then extracted small blocks directly from the outcrop and then split them using chisels and hammers. In other instances, we had to use a rock saw to safely extract particularly important fossils from the blocks they were preserved in. Here again, it can take several hours of hard labor to extract a single specimen, but in this particular case, it is worth it. The animal here that I'm uncovering is a magnificent arthropod called Cynia unexpectans, and the specimen was just lying here along the rocky slopes, waiting to be discovered. Here I extract the specimen by removing the cut blocks around it first. Here you go. Here is a fossil that we found in the quarry. As you can see, the fossil is dark and unweathered. This particular specimen is exquisitely preserved and represents a new species of arthropod. Our new site is about 40 kilometers southeast from the famous Berkshire Wacott Quarry. The Berkshire yields spectacularly preserved marine animals that lived half a billion years ago during the Cambrian period. Our new site is about the same age as the Berkshire, and despite limited sampling compared to the Wacott Quarry, it already shows a comparable diversity of animals with many new species not known anywhere else. This suggests that additional fieldwork activity in the Marble Canyon area should yield many important fossil finds in the future.